Look, it's fairly simple. She can probably narrate this video better than I could if she was a real person and currently I kind of wish she was so that she could do the talking instead of me. But that is not going to happen at the current point. And rethinking things, maybe she wouldn't be better at narrating things since she probably talks at an immense speed. And so pretty much the opposite that I do. I stop in the middle of the sentence to think and then she just doesn't stop at all. Just super quickly fast as quickly as she can speak. Throw out words when she doesn't know what to say. And yeah. I can't believe I've given her a way of sp a way that the way that she speaks before I have figured out what her name is. <laughs> but yeah, she's based on the jellyfish and I'm keeping her color palette just orange. Just completely orange, head to toe, head, head to tentacle, head to Whatever her leggies are. Head to leggies. I'm I'm making the the shadows have a some are red. That's kind of obvious. The shadows are red. I'm adding in some um a, a darker bit for her core or inside. I don't know that much about jellyfish anatomy, but if you look at pictures, then there, there's like the center is darker than the outer. So I wanted to add that in and I realized that a bit later. So I just kind of, it's there, but if you're not looking for it, it isn't that obvious, which, kind of, which makes sense since that's how it is with jellyfish. Just making her shiny. I don't know if at this point I'm making her shiny or she's like bordering on leathery. I also don't know if like leathery is a bad thing currently, uh, at least for her. Adding some details for the for when the thinner um, tendrils kick in, come in. There's a layer in the line art layer where um, there's some extra detailing that um, uses the extra detailing to uh, blend in better. And I, uh, those. I'm adding some um, little dots because they have those. F and I'm changing her moles to, I think I changed her moles to be the, the, the white color eventually. But I added some freckles for her since if, if jellyfish have freckles, pretty much, then she can have freckles. And I remembered that freckles existed, so she gets freckles. And uh, just a few underwater debris <laughs> to add some texture to the background. I'm messing about with a bunch of different glow options but since part of the reason I wanted to draw this type of jellyfish is that they look like they glow so I decided to add that in and just play around with things with um, with the glow options in Photoshop 
not too shabby if I say so myself. And just adding, just making the line art a lot lighter to add to the, you know, the glow, the shiny, the emitting light effect. And um, it just kind of makes things blend in a bit more. Anyway, that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.